Okay, so a day of hard sun has finally arrived for me to test the truly self-cooling water bottle. So previously I, I made this thing. What you do is you pass current through it here and it takes about 12 volts and 5 amps. So, eh, 50 watts, that sort of thing. And when you do that, this side gets hot, this side gets cool. And that cools down the water, and it'll cool down this half litre bottle by about 10 degrees in an amazing 10 minutes. Um, and like I was saying, to do that it takes about 50 watts. Now curiously, this half square metre solar panel here is also rated at about 50 watts. So in principle, I should be able to run my self-cooling water bottle off this tiny self-contained solar panel. I mean, there's a couple of things that uh, aren't quite right. First of all, that's 48 watts going full power with the sun directly overhead of the equator, that sort of thing. Secondly, uh, this panel produces about 19 volts, which is a little on the high side versus the 12 volts that this thing's going to run at. And obviously, seeing it's, it's running at higher volts, it doesn't carry as many amps. And amps is what you really need to cool this down. But I don't think it's going to greatly matter for this demonstration. But we shall see. Right, first thing we can do is get our solar panel in there. Oh, it's only 40 watts. Two amps. Alright. First thing it knows is. Is the solar panel heats up like crazy fast. Yeah? So, see, in real time, the solar panel is just getting crazy hot. So now we have our self-cooling water bottle here, that's that one. We have our reference water bottle here, that's that one. And thermal camera is here. And so all we need to do now is wire up the self-cooling water bottle. And with that, the clock is running. So... I think it is. I think it's cooling down. I think it's cooling down. I think it's working. It is. Definitely. My God. The world's first self cooling water bottle. Oh my God, I can see it. I can see it running down the side here. It's working. My God. I got to zoom in on that. It's working. Just look at that. The world's worst self cooling water bottle. You can see the cold water coming down the side. So, here we are, about 40 minutes later, and we're down about 18 and a half degrees on that salt cooling water bottle, which is amazing, whereas this is about 20.5 for the reference bottle. So, almost two whole degrees cooler for the self cooling water bottle, which and all it requires is a, a little solar panel, full direct sunlight, and... Um, a modest sized Peltier device on the side of the bottle. So before I run this as an amazing Kickstarter, which I've got to upsell a little, let me just show you how truly pathetic this is, in that this is just a little bit of ice. Just a little bit of ice. And I'm going to put that in to the reference bottle. So, let's just go for one little bit to begin with. about the equivalent of one small ice cube. It's been chopped up a little, but it's the basic deal. And as you can see, that's had a rather dramatic effect on the temperature, which is already down to 15 degrees up at the top there. And if I give this a little swirl, You will 
I'll see. So it's not actually full up to the top there. It's it, it's just one little ice cube, but it's cooled the entire bottle down by about one degree Celsius from one ice cube. But it did that in a fully a second. Okay, so let's try this again with another smallish ice cube. Okay. Yeah, oh, perfection. And another small piece of ice. And another small piece of ice. So they've got to go through the neck of the bottle, so it gives you some idea of how small they are. And that, there we go. 16, 12 degrees in merely seconds. And if we get that little swirl, of course, cool down the top of the bottle. I'll heat up fairly quickly. And there you go. So this is one of the reasons why the self-filling water bottle was just such a complete non-starter. If you're an adventure, you know the anxiety that comes with running out of water in the middle of a tour. The last thing you want is dehydration when you're miles away from home. Fontus is a self-filling water bottle that allows you to plan your adventures without having to worry about heavy water loads or where to find the next river or the next gas station. Because it takes about 500 times more energy to condense water out of the air than to heat that water up by one degree Celsius. So if you, in the time that it's taken, this device to cool the water down by merely or one degree, um, which is about half an hour, it would have condensed, eh, give or take, about one milliliter of water. That's about an aspirin-sized drop, a uh, piece of water. And so, and that's on the basis that you've got full sunlight. 